Hello grade 5, this is teacher Marian, your science teacher. Join me again in our virtual lesson in science. This week's lesson is for quarter 1, week 4. As we go along with our lesson, we will answer the following question. Is heat needed for chemical change? Why? Is it important that we cook our food? Is it safe to eat raw foods? Is heat required to cook food? Why? Our objective for this lesson is to explain how matter changes through the application of heat. Before we start, I will leave you two minutes to answer the pretest in your module. Let's look back to the important terms that we discussed last week. Can you guess the correct word or words on each picture? How about the next one? For our next activity, tell me something about the pictures. Let's discuss the first picture. There are three phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can move from one phase to another. The arrow indicates the heat are present or absent. Let's go to the changes that requires heat. Melting is when you move from solid to liquid. For example, the ice is solid but as heat is applied to it, it is slowly becoming liquid. Evaporation is the movement from liquid to gas. Example, as the water is heated, it is converted into a gas. Sublimation is when a solid goes directly to a gas and escapes the liquid phase. For example, dried ice. Let's talk about when heat is removed. Freezing is when you go from a liquid to solid. For example, the snow in one time is a liquid, but as it cold, it become a solid. Condensation is when you go from a gas to a liquid. When a water vapor in air is in cold glass, it will slowly become liquid. Deposition is when you go from gas to solid. For example, scraping of ice. The water vapor in the air went from a gas in the air to a solid. What about the next set of pictures? Is there changes that happen in the following materials? What is it? For our activity 1, let us observe the pictures of a sliced eggplant. What can you say about the changes that the eggplant undergone after it was set aside for a while? Some fruits and vegetables have enzymes when combined with water which gives it brown color. This is a sign of a food spoilage. The change in color of the fleshy part of these particular fruits and vegetables is due to its exposure to oxygen. For the next activity, you learn from the previous lesson that simply exposing some objects to oxygen produces various effects. You have learned that the materials undergone physical change when there is a change in size, shape, or color. A materials undergone physical change when there is no new substance form and the process is reversible. Study the following examples. Chemical change is a change in a material that results of a new substance. It may change in size, shape, and even color. The process is irreversible. Look at the following examples. For our next activity, let's watch the video. So we're doing an experiment here. We're going to see which candle goes out first. The one under the big jar or the little jar? What do you guys think? Big this jar? one. Little this jar, John? One. How about you, Ems? This one. Okay, ready, set, go. Very gentle. Which jar Punch. has the longest time and shortest time of putting out the flame? I knew it. And which is the shortest or longest oh, candle after happens. burning? Yep, good job. What does the candle we're need to keep time. burning? Ready? That. If there yep. is an absence of Very oxygen, gently. what will happen to the candle? That one. Yep. yep, definitely the smaller one. Aside from oxygen, another thing that produces changes in the matter is heat. Heat is described as how high or low the temperature is. We measure heat using a thermometer. Heat can bring about physical changes in matter. Some solid materials melt when enough heat is applied to them. 
A common example is a melting ice when it is placed out of the refrigerator. The ice absorbs the heat from the surroundings which will then melt after a minute. Sun is the main source of heat. When water is subjected to heat, it evaporates. When water, just like the wet laundry under the sun, after several hours, the clothes become dry. This means that the water in the clothes evaporated. Heat does not easily produce physical change in a material. Sometimes, heating a material causes it to undergo chemical change. For instance, when we are cooking. The chemical changes caused by heat are irreversible. For example, is a fried egg. It is undergone chemical change by cooking. Now, can you bring back the egg into its liquid form before it was cooked? Did chemical change happen to the egg after it was cooked? Heating materials can also cause chemical change. The chemical changes caused by heat include combustion. It is irreversible because the chemical composition of matter has been changed or affected. Can you return the fire into a gasoline? Of course not. The process is irreversible. Heating materials can also cause physical change. Some changes caused by heat like melting of ice and evaporation of water are reversible. The water from ice can be frozen back to ice again and evaporated water will become water again when it condenses and falls as rain. There are different changes brought by nature, humans, and other living organisms. The first one is global warming. It is the process that causes the Earth's temperature to rise and makes the Earth warmer. The cause for this is the increase of concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, mainly from human activities such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and farming. The effect of this is the loss of sea ice, accelerated sea level rise, and longer, more intense heat waves. The next one is what we call pollution. It is when gases, smoke, and chemicals are introduced into the environment in large doses that makes it harmful for humans, animals, and plants. The cause for this is the solid and liquid particles and certain gases that are suspended in the air. These particles and gases can come from a car and truck exhaust, factories, dust, pollen, mold spores, volcanoes, and wildfires. The effect is makes muddy landscape, poison soils and waterways, or kills plants and animals. Humans are also regularly harmed by pollution. It may cause lung cancer and other diseases. Another is Kaingen system. It means clearing by the cutting down and burning of trees and plant growth in an area for cultivation purposes. The cause is the agricultural plantation. The effect is the destruction of forests and wooded areas through Kaingen system and fires of deprived birds and their nesting places. Animals' habitat were destroyed thus endangered wild animals. The last one is incineration. It is a waste treatment process that involves the combustion of organic substances contained in waste materials. The cause for this is too much waste. The effect, it poses a significant threat to the public health and environment. It will also cause cancer and respiratory symptoms. Let us save the earth. Let's think of some ways that prevent change and will not harm the environment. Some of suggested practices are waste segregation, making of compost pit, and the practice of the 5 hours technique. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel.